Hi, my name is Julie Hasek and I'm a certified personal trainer. The purpose of today's video is to demonstrate a program that will introduce you to some very basic exercises to help improve your strength, your flexibility, and your balance. The length of the video is about 20 minutes, give or take, and the intended audience is for somebody who's new to exercise or that's kind of coming back from exercise after a break or an illness. Um, or that um, is just kind of looking for where to get started. So, are you ready? I'm gonna go through a few things that are gonna help you to be successful before we begin. First of all, I want you to be honest with yourself. Really be, uh, you know, gracious to your body. If you're not really feeling it today or this week, that's okay. But also, honesty goes both ways. If you are feeling good and like you're in a great place to begin an exercise program or just feeling particularly strong, then go ahead and do the work. Be honest. Secondly, be accountable. Whenever you're starting an exercise program, you need to make sure that you put it on your calendar just as you would a job. Taking care of your body is a big responsibility and you do have control. You can designate certain days of the week as your workout days. Make sure that you have a plan for those days and that you hold yourself accountable to them. Finally, set goals. The intention of an exercise program is not just to be repetitive, repeat what you did the last day, but to show progress. So set a goal for today, set a goal for the week, set a goal for the month. You wanna focus on today, see how many reps you can do and which exercises you can accomplish, and then set as a goal over time to either increase the repetitions that you do or add some resistance. Our goal today is gonna to be to get through about 10 repetitions of each exercise, but maybe next week you wanna try for 12 or 15 or maybe 20. Maybe you go through the program twice. Uh, in any case, just set something that's appropriate for you and your body and continue to make progress as you go forward. All right, and finally, the last thing that's really going to help you to be successful with any exercise program is to understand your reason. What's that underlying reason, guys? It can't be because you flipped on this video today and I'm telling you to do this. It can't be because your doctor said, I think you should start an exercise program. You need to figure out what's in it for you. Why are you here? Is it to uh, you know, keep up with kids or grandkids? Do you have some kind of a hobby that you like to do? Do you just feel like you need more strength in your activities of daily living? Do you need a little bit more stamina to get through what you want to do? In any case, this should be something that's unique to you and important to you, something that will drive you to continue because repetition, just like, um, you know, it takes a lot of grains of sand on a beach before you start to see that pile rise. Repetition is what's going to help to make progress. All right, you ready to go? Let's do this thing. So we're gonna start with um, a little warm up. Then we're gonna do some standing exercises. We've got some things to do as a, uh, in seated and then some things on the ground. Let's begin with a brief warm up. We're gonna start just by marching in place. I'm gonna count to 16. We're gonna do a couple other things. Then we're gonna repeat this warm up sequence three times. Let's go in three, two, and one. Take it into a march for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stop your feet, breathe it in, breathe it out. Hands on your thighs, hinge forward, stand back up. Now twist, center, twist, let's march again. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. That's it for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Big breath in, big breath out. <sighs> Hands on thighs, bring it forward, bring it up. Rotate and rotate. Last time through, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Again for eight, six, five, four, three. Still those feet, breathe and exhale and hinge and stand. Let's rotate, center, rotate, center, and smile. We're about to get going. All right. First exercise is a push-up. Ah, for real, I said push-up. We're going to begin with a modification. First modification could be that you use the wall 
as your exercise platform. You just begin by putting your hands on the wall, shoulder width apart, keeping your body in a straight line, abdominal muscles are engaged and strong, and then you just lower yourself toward the wall and push up. I'm gonna use a platform that's slightly lower. This is an option for you as well. You could come down to a kitchen counter. You could come down to the back of your couch. You could use the front of the couch, the seat cushions, or progression would be all the way to the floor. So go ahead and take your, take your pick, figure out where you wanna do these push-ups, and let's begin. Bring your hands to the platform. Engage that core. Draw your shoulders down your back. Squeeze your butt muscles, squeeze your thighs, keep your body flat. And now let's just lower with control and push up. Lower with control and push up. Today our goal is to get through 10. Again, you're setting your own goals here. So if you cannot get to 10, you either change the exercise by changing the platform that you're lowering to, or you change the repetition. Make note of how many you get and then progress. Let's go one more. All right, fantastic. Exercise one complete. All right, for our second exercise, we're gonna work on balance. Begin just by standing on both feet, slowly bringing all of your weight onto your right foot. Bring your shoulders down and back and engage your core. Give me some strength. Bring your right foot off the ground and we're simply gonna hold. One key to balance, if this is a struggle for you, have something nearby that you can hold on to. You could use a wall, you could use a countertop, you could use the back of a chair as long as it's not gonna go anywhere. And also keep your gaze on something that's not moving. So if you're looking at me as I'm moving, you're gonna have more challenge than if your eyes are pointed toward a fixed focal point somewhere on the floor. All right, that's it. We hit 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and switch to the other foot. All of your weight comes onto that left leg. Lift the right leg up off the floor, shoulders down and back. Now use your breathing to calm your mind and calm your muscles. Make sure you can feel your big toe, your pinky toe and your heel all touching the floor. I'm gonna show you a couple of progressions after we get done with this 30 seconds. Okay, go ahead and lower. Progression number one, if that was too easy for you, would be to increase the time. So go ahead and, and do a whole minute when you're doing this exercise at home without me. <laughs> this time through, we're just doing it the once for 30 seconds. Another option would be hold that foot up, but add some movement. Move your arms, okay? If moving them this way is easy, you could add rotation. All right. So that gives you a little bit of material to work through as you set those goals and as you progress your exercise program. Okay. Now we're going to do a hinge and a row. A hinge, we're just simply taking a bow. So you're going to bend from your hips, keeping your back straight, arms down toward the ground. You're gonna drive your elbows up to the ceiling. Now I want you to squeeze between your shoulder blades like you're trying to catch a $100 bill. And then lower, and then stand back up. So it's hinge, row, hands down, and stand. Hinge, row and squeeze, hands down, and stand. Now, progression on this one is quite simple. You could just pick up a couple of um, cans of food or a couple of water bottles add a little weight. You could actually hold a long exercise band with your hands so that as you pull you have some resistance. Or you could grab a couple of dumbbells. But the basic movement is this hinge forward keeping your back flat, elbows coming to the ceiling, squeezing and actively engaging the muscles between your shoulder blades, and then coming back up again. All right, so that's a hinge and a row. Our final exercise standing is gonna also be a little bit of a stretch for your shoulders. I want you to stand with your feet roughly eight inches, six to eight inches away from the wall and then go ahead and lean on the wall. Bring your arms up so that you look like a goal post. Keep the back of your head situated on the wall. 
Now for some of you, this may be the stretch. Oftentimes I find that people can't bring their hands all the way, their forearms all the way to the wall. So the stretch for you would just be to try to keep, keep those abs engaged, keep your hips on the wall, keep the back of your head on the wall and your chin tucked, and to bring the forearms toward the wall. You should feel some heat and some energy coming through the muscles in between your shoulder blades. Now what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna hold this position and then we're gonna slide the hands up the wall and down. So this may be difficult for some of you if you've got some tightness in your chest or if you've got some tightness in your lats. But we're gonna, this is what you're gonna to work toward, having this mobility. All right, let's go three more. Fantastic. And two. And one. All right, great work. Go ahead and step away from the wall. Next little section of our program today is going to be seated. So I'm going to bring my bench out over to the mat. We're going to start with a little bit of a stretch. So just sit down. You can have your hands in your lap. I want you to nod. Yes. Bring your chin to your chest and then look at the ceiling. Chin to the chest, stretching the back of the neck and then look to the ceiling. Fantastic, bring your eyes back to center. Now we're gonna look over your left shoulder and over your right shoulder. One more time each way. Gentle stretch for the neck. And the other side. Bring your eyes back to me. Now take your right ear to your right shoulder and your left ear to your left shoulder. That should just feel good. Nice little stretch. Loosen up the neck. Okay. From here, we're going to work our shoulders a little bit. Extend your arms out to the side. Let's circle forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Reverse. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Reverse. 5, 4, three, two, and one. Let's bring those hands up behind your head. Sit up nice and tall. Keeping that length as if there's a string pulling you up to the ceiling. Keep that length in your spine. Let's bring our elbow toward the side of the bench and then draw it back up to center. Bring it toward the side of the bench and then draw it back up to center. So you should feel not only a stretch, but also some work happening on the muscles that go up and down the side of your bodies. So we'll do this for 10 times on each side. How are you feeling? You doing good? Fantastic. So if at any point during our video, you start to feel too tired, you start to feel like you need a break, please just press the pause button, go take that break, and then come back and join us. Again, remember, be honest with yourself. This might feel like a little bit of work to you, but you can do it. But if you do need that break, please feel free to take it. All right, great job. Go ahead and lower the arms. Moving on, we're gonna go ahead and do a sit to stand. So why would it be important to be able to stand up out of a chair for a thousand reasons, right? Number one is it keeps your independence. As long as you can get yourself up and down out of a chair, up and down out of a car, uh, up and down out of bed, um, you're good to go. So let's try to strengthen those legs. I want you to lean forward, reach, uh, reaching your head, neck, and shoulders so that you can see the front of your shoes. So nose over toes. I want you to try to stand without the assistance of your arms. So try to keep your arms forward and slowly just bring the energy to the front. Okay, we're shooting for 10. Nice work. So after we're done with um, 10 of these, I'm just going to show you a modification. So I will show you the next progression, which would be a squat without using the chair as a target. All right, let's just go three more. Last two. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You got this final one. And sit. 
Okay, as promised, a squat is the same exact motion. We're gonna sit your bottom back as if you've got a chair behind you. Those arms come forward and then back to start. So if sitting and standing from the chair is not enough of a challenge for you, you can take it to an air squat when you repeat this program. Again, as always, you can progress these exercises um, by picking up some dumbbells. Okay, let's do a little bit more work for those thighs, shall we? Sitting tall, resting your hands beside you. I just want you to kick one foot up and lower. Just kick and lower. You should feel the quads tightening as you kick. So we're getting a little bit more thigh work, a little bit more for those quadriceps that are gonna help you to stay stable around your knees and give you that, that um, strength that you need to maintain your mobility and independence. All right, let's go two more. And again, beautiful. All right, 10 reps on the other side. And nine. You got eight. Nice work. Seven. Six. And last five. We're going to do these, and then we got a quick stretch. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, stretch for your hips. We're going to cross our legs just like a guy. Okay. For some of you, this may be too intense. In order to make it a little bit less intense, you would just walk the foot that's staying on the ground a little bit more forward. Bring that knee up. That might be the stretch right there. Or if you want a little bit more, you just hinge your body to the front. Okay, and release. Bring it up to the other side. Hinge forward and release. Great, okay. We're gonna finish with just a few minutes on the floor. I'm gonna set my bench aside and come down for some abdominal work. I just want you to think about firming up that belly, tightening up as if you're getting ready for a sucker punch. Lift one knee up to 90 degrees, now lift the other. Lower that first leg down and then the second. So it's march, march, and lower and lower. It's up and up and lower and lower. And three, four, five, six, seven. So if this feels too easy, it's very easy to modify. Just take the bend out of the knee and it gets hard pretty quick. So bring that workload to the amount of work that works for your body, that's appropriate for your body. And last one, up and up and lower and lower. Final exercise is a hamstring bridge. Bring your heels so that they're close to your rear end about uh, to where your fingertips can touch. Let's lift and squeeze and lower. We've got nine and eight, seven, six, nice work. As you reach up, I want you to think about really squeezing your bun. Four, three, two, and one. And go ahead and lower. Let's go ahead and draw both knees in, give you a little stretch. Rock a little bit on your back. Give them a nice big hug. Tell, tell your body you appreciate all the work it's done today. Come up, give those knees a little kiss if your body will allow. And release. Drop both knees to the side and slowly come up. You did it. You really achieved a lot today. Thanks so much for joining me. Just remember, be honest with yourself. Set your goals, be accountable, and above all, find that purpose, find that reason that you're going to stick to your exercise program.